Hello and welcome to episode 40 of the Ottomans game. I am right about to start another war on Mali. And I am almost done integrating Mutapa, which will connect these lands to my homeland and get and give me some great gold mines down here and some more ivory as well. So only two gold mines, but ivory is also very expensive. Not as much as uh, spices though. Well, the price dropped a bit, but it's still over five gold, so that's great. And uh, since these clans are connected to my homeland, um, it's at full production. So yeah, brilliant. Um, so yeah, let me declare on Mali again. This time I'll give... yeah, there we go. So I want to take this province, uh, give, force them to give back this province to Kanem Bornu. And uh, hopefully that will make them small enough to be vassalized in the future. I, al I already changed their government type to monarchy. So, yeah. Let's go, declare war. It also dropped my piety down, so take Timbuktu, sure. That's that's the plan. Um, so my piety is hovering below something. Um, let's catch their army. Points spent on that. Two million points, and I'll spend two more. Uh, do I want prestige or five prestige and money? Of course I want the money. I also need to start investing into uh, grand shipyards. So I'll do that here, like so. And I need to build a shipyard here in Dumyat. So these five will be my grand shipyards. Um, these are also actually very rich in base tax, but yeah. And these here as well. Naval arsenal. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm almost broke. Hooray! So I squished their armies. And they have 3,000 troops. Nothing. And let's start sieging then. investments into military like so a hundred gold per month <coughs> sounds good so the aim is to yeah well I don't have to wait with that with somebody's oh what wait what pirates five pirates okay interesting uh, I can go up with my... Yep, sure. Glorious monument. I don't have the cash for it though. Oh, university as well. So I need to save up 2000 gold now for those two buildings. Um, you can go help there, you can go help there. Actually, you can... yeah. Apparently Russia is very aggressive in, uh, against Lithuania. So... Oh wait a second. 
Sweden leads personal union with Burgundy, not the other way around. I get it. Okay. That makes even less sense than the previous one, but oh well. Okay, so I want you to give me Timbuktu. And I want you to release... I want you to return course like so. And release Ashanti. There we go. And you will agree to all of that. Well, fine. Uh, I guess we don't have to go to war then. <coughs> Anymore. We're done. There we go. And now I can uh, n and now I can immediately declare on these guys. Um, I'm only afraid that France will take the um, take Ashanti. Can I declare on Ashanti? No. And I would have a truce too. So let's take Canemborne, revolutionary war. Um, can I vassalize you? I don't know yet. Um, I kill their armies, fine. Even with my reduced investments into military. Um, can I make you my vessel? Yeah. 70%. Is Mali small enough to vassalize now? No. Fan fascinating. So apparently these lands are extremely rich that he has here. And he's actually right. These are very, very expensive lands. Um, apparently we lost the CB against Portugal. For a bit. Delete. We had some units here for some reason. Uh, delete. Um, so yeah, these are now all my lands. I think I'll get back the Portuguese uh, CB soon. So now it's time to start improving relations with Moldavia and Kazan. And uh, will the Timurids vesselize? Now they will. Okay. And Timurids as well. Do I have any more? Oh yeah, and Tunisia. Once my guy gets back from Kenimborno. One hundred twenty-eight, just from those provinces. They're gold and stuff. Yeah, twenty-seven coins from gold. Um, apparently, we really lost the CB. Oh right, because I don't have a colony close to them anymore. No, it's not a col it's not a colony anymore. and gift come on you can do it you can improve royal of army is plus 25 percent that's the most important uh, idea there we go Khan and Bornu sue for peace you have some money sure you do 
uh, vassal of the Ottomans. And now I can send you this province. Um, excellent. There we go. So Mali now hates us a bit, and that will go away. And I still need to work on them, so yeah. Seventy-seven supply limit just by having fourteen base tags. Oh my god! And they started coring that immediately. Brilliant. So, Songhai loves me, Ashanti too, but I can't get to Ashanti yet. Um, t -t 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 how is this going? Oh, it's okay. I can start working on. I did that. No, I didn't. Good relation. I need these to go away and it's going to be 20 years from now for those penalties to go away. So yeah, it's going to take some time. Um, apparently these guys are being attacked back from Miwar. I don't care that much. I want to get Timurid as my vassal, that's what I want. One more point, come on. There we go. So, one more vassal. What's this, Korashan? What to do with you, man? No ascending course. I'll just probably eat you up. Oirat Horde is doing well. They're too big to vassalize in any case. Russia is at war with Lithuania, is being eaten up by everybody. Maybe Lithuania will become small enough to become a. Uh, my vassal. You never know. So. My future plans, well, except for Africa, I want to attack Portugal, which is, uh, who is allied with like everybody. Uh, I also want Sicily from Aragon. Um, they are allied with um, Austria and Portugal. So I might do that. I might attack Aragon and take Sicily and then, I don't know, make Austria cancel its alliance with Portugal. Cancel its alliance with Portugal. And Aragon as well. That will leave Portugal with Great Britain and Spain. Let me see who is Great Britain allied with. Lithuania, Poland, Provence, Anhalt, Saxony, and Portugal, Burgundy. No, oh, Burgundy is under PU with Sweden. Mm. Here. I could probably make this war stop and help them. Would, would these guys vassalize? Yes, they would. Um, so let me do that then. Send a gift to them. Like so. And then improve relations. But hopefully they won't peace out until I get them to 100%. Um like so. And once uh Miwar dis declines the offer for uh, peace, then I'll just attack it. And release all these lands. And then I can feed lands from Miwar to Gujarat. What? Heresy? Really? Weeds in the garden, indeed. Um. Oh no. Gujarat got owned. Oh damn, 
I was too late. Um. But you would vassalize now, even with the distance. So let's do that then. How are we doing here? Leading vassal, leading vassal. Do I want another vassal? That's a good question. Um, well, yeah. Our successor is very strong in diplomacy. And so, yeah, why not? Royal marriage. Come on. Offer alliance. Proclaim guarantee. You can stop improving relations there. Gain money, sure. Always a good option. Speaking of which, oh yeah, I will have to go to war. That's right. Um, offer vassalization, excellent. And now we can deal with these guys. Finally. Lithuania will redu re renounce their claims on a bunch of land. Oh man. They got a hundred percent there. Obviously. Look at all this. Hmm. Lithuania will most definitely lose its PU or Pomerania, so that's fixed. Uh, you know what? Let me see here. Oh yeah, Dundar, you're so dead, man. Let's do it like this. Kashmir considers that one of its own cores. Let's declare on Dundar first. some big war going on right there, right? Uh, Songhai, disputed succession. Yeah, not my thing. Um, like so. war is happening in Europe. Uh, unique buildings. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Um, university and glorious monument in Ankara. There we go. Thanks for reminding me. And I have enough cash to build some more 
of these plantations, um, textile manufacturers, farm estates, weapon manufacturers. Yeah, none are so lucrative as spices, to be honest. So more spices than. Oh, no. What's this? Ivory? Yeah, spices and ivory. Cash cows. Okay, so we killed those. Dundar is done. Go up there. Reduce aim army maintenance. Get some more cash. So I want you to give back these to Miwar. Pronto. And give me all your money. If you have some. Um, yeah. I'll take up the military tech now. Upper door done. Miva done. Jungle is done. Marwar done. Will you give me what I want? Yes, you will. No. Wait a second. Good gyrat. Not the other way around. Clear offer. Return course to good gyrat. There we go. What's Mivar? Mivar is where? This is Mivar. Um, increase our maintenance. Obviously, otherwise I'm gonna lose. Um, <sighs> let me see here. First, let me make you my enemy. Like so. And now we can talk. So, return these two. And I'll take... Something that's connected to these lands. For example, this one. Yeah. I'll take this. There we go. Um... That's that's fine. Uh, wait, wait. They're not. They're Shia, huh? That's unfortunate. Will you take that anyway? Yeah, you will. Okay. So different religion, but not that different. Fine. Um. So that concludes that war. Uh, what about you? What will I do about you? Can I attack you? Sure I can. Um. Khorashan declared on Dundar now. Come on. Give me a... Fortress in Muntenia. Sure. Um, declare on these guys then. Uh, 
Sure, Kazan, why not? Parashan. No. Declare war. <sighs> what I want is full annexation. That's what I want. So I can sell you to these guys. You are Shia anyway, so... Invest into tech. Um, sure, why not? Come on. Siege plus two. Get over there. And Korshan is doing his stuff. Apparently they are good at it. So maybe Korshan will take that so I can eat up Korshan. Um, lose piety. Thank you. There we go. Full annexation. Sell province. This one. Yep. Like nothing happened. What's this? Gujarati Patriots. Yes, please. Um, I hope he won't give them... Uh, safe passage and he is so let me fund those then since it's so idiotic right now are these my enemy no let me make them my enemy there we go and fund for trebles miwari nationalists can i fund them no these guys no unfortunately no Okay. This guy is good at diplomacy, right? Yep. Three, four, five. And his air is crap. Yep. They killed the rebels. Can I fund them now then? No, they revolted already. Repair relations with Russia. Construct a shipyard. <coughs> Have at least one naval base. Yeah, indeed. I want to do that anyway. Naval base. There we go. And I wanted to build a... What was it? Um, here. Right off. Right. So reduce the army maintenance. There we go. And now I need to wait for 20 years. So I can finally start annexing my other vessels. And then get new vessels. I have too many vessels. Court. And... What can I do here? Can I send them here? Apparently not. Let's take this then. Take up military tech. 
stack of piety only. I'll wait for some more piety drops before I take up. Um, I can probably sell this. Synth considers this. Miwar considers. Gujarat has a claim, so he will take it. He'll take all this stuff. Excellent. So now I just need to wait for the aggressive expansion penalties to go away. A few years. These guys, for example, don't even care. Um, so yeah, I'll drill my way down into, into those lands. What about this? Oirat Horde is allied with Pegu. Uh, whoever Pegu is. Apparently these guys down here. Okay. So, what can I do with you? Mongol. I guess I could make them release the Mongol Canate. That would work, right? Or maybe Vesalized Tibet. Yeah, its provinces are cr like crap. Um, but they are allied with a bunch of people. Yeah, I really need to integrate my remaining vassals. So what's the situation in, in Europe? Lithuania got much smaller. Mali declared on Ashanti. Huh. Well, that's not gonna work, you know that. Um, let me fabricate a claim on you. On Messina. Um, gain the CB against Portugal. Fine. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna make you stop that, what you're doing right now. Um, enforce peace. No, the other way around. Enforce peace with Ashanti. And of course, no. So let me attack you then. With you. Since I already started uh, fabricating claims on Messina, it's going to count as uh, proper. As my claim. Unfortunately, he got discovered. Uh, too much aggressive expansion for my taste. Crap. Tundar. No, I want that claim, thank you. declared on France or France or Spain. Spanish reconquest, yeah. So big big wars in Europe. Fine with me. Um army maintenance down. Get the stuff sieged up. I have a claim, so 
yeah, forget about it. And yeah, I guess I could take these ones as well. Hmm. Nope. piety and I want justice province and that's it um, and now I need to f start fabricating claims immediately on on these two provinces here and he is in a coalition oh well boohoo Come on, start fabricating on... There we go. He caught this. Brilliant. Thank you. Found in Bornu. Tunisia marriage died, but my... Um, Legitimacy is back to a hundred, so I can marry them. So, claims on these two provinces and I'm done. Um, form an alliance with me, but no, Yerisan. Go. More army tradition never hurts. Shipbuilding time. Um, but unfortunately, I have no new ships to build yet. Oh, I do. Oh, there we go. Frigates. And Admiralty as well. So, Admiralty first. And then I can build some frigates. How long does it last? Oh, it's on the shipbuilding time. Never mind then. Um, there we go. Another dead general. That's unfortunate. Once I build that fortress, I will... Uh, Poland will rele release Ukraine, Ukraine as a sovereign state. Oh my. These guys are being beaten up. Seriously. There we go. Let's make another fabrication on Segu and then we can... So Portugal is at war with a lot of people, including his former ally Austria. So Poland is now only allied with Great Britain, Aragon and Spain, which is tolerable, I think. Um, what's this? Delete. Did I reduce my... yes I did, 100 gold per month. Excellent. It will take 20 years for these aggressive expansion penalties to go away. Can we... Finally, so... Please take this province from me. Thank you. Um, yeah, these are some very rich provinces down here. What's this? Yolof, even. Okay. 
So Mali is getting smaller and smaller. Eventually it will be small enough to be vassalized. And these aggressive expansion penalties will go away once I give back its lands. For example, I don't know. Uh, from Portugal too. That should work. So when is that fortress being done? Um, 90 days. Fine. Uh, let me see if I can build something more. Like trade companies. <laughs> there we go. I'm running out of... Uh, good stuff to build but still yeah I'll get Portugal Portugal is next on my kill list I need to make it release course uh, well no course but this core back to Morocco give these to Morocco three provinces and these lands here to Mali I'll make him release these lands and grab all these if possible so that's the next uh, country on my list I just need to make sure that I have enough navy to actually counter his and Spain's at the same time so I think what I'll do Spain I will, I will transfer my galleys from here to Europe for this fight um, so I have enough well maybe let me see uh, naval bases uh, yeah sure oh they are expensive oh, I'll need to wait for those um, but yeah, that's the plan. And for that I will need a bunch of troops as well. So I need to transfer some troops down here to these. And okay, for this one I have units right here. Uh, for these I will have this army here. And for these two. But I will need to shift some more units down here. So... <coughs> Might as well start moving. Let me see where I can take these. Russia. Let's be, let me see who has how much units. Well, only only Russia is really... Well, Spain has 85,000 troops. Oh, crap. Uh, Portugal has 60,000, so that's not a problem. But yeah, as soon as I as as long as I have <coughs> naval supremacy in the Mediterranean, or better to say here at the Strait of Gibraltar, um, I'm not I'm sure that Spain will not be able to get its troops across, for example, France, or yeah, France's opinion of it is like no way. So. As long as Spain cannot bring troops to my lands on the land bridge or via land, I'm safe. So the only thing I need to do is grab as much, well, um, and the thing I need to do is I need to declare a holy war so that um, it's the fights that count, not the... Um, Not the land grab. But I'll wait for him to break the alliance with Spain. And then we can go. Because of Great Britain I'm not that afraid of. That's fine. Austria is up for the grabs as well. Aragon. Austria, Portugal and Tuscany. Maybe I could declare on Aragon. That would be actually much better. Because I doubt that um, Aragon would not... Uh, switch the leadership to Portugal, right? Let me see. Aragon, Aragon. Yeah, 38,000. So he would stay the war leader. 
And he's only allied with Austria, Tuscany and Portugal. And I might be able to force fights with these people and use that war score to uh, grab lands from Portugal. I'll see what I what will I be able to do. But that's for some other day. I'm done for today with videos. So thank you guys for watching and I think I'll record again tomorrow. And for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, uh, the next 150 years are going to be very, very interesting as I will try to conquer India um, and get to Japan as well as take all these lands from Russia and hopefully grab all of Africa because uh, compared to my previous uh, playthrough with the Ottomans this is going much better I didn't uh, spend so much time conquering Russia uh, although that has its merits on its own but um, I'm doing much better now in Africa and Asia so yeah see you guys tomorrow bye bye